Hey guys, it's Kristen George again. I am so excited to show you one of my absolute favorite neighborhoods that is downtown. The reason Chelsea is so cool is because there's a combination of art galleries, shops, restaurants, there's just so much in this neighborhood. Come with me, I'm gonna show you my favorite spot and a couple others that you just can't miss. Behind me is one of my favorite spots in Chelsea Market. What's so special about this historic building is that there are not only restaurants and little mini grocery stores inside, but there's also a bunch of stores as well. So you can enjoy having a meal with friends, you can walk around and buy some really cool groceries, and then you can do some shopping. I love it here, and it's just such an important part of the Chelsea landscape. Right across the street from Chelsea Market is the Starbucks Reserve. It is a huge Starbucks that has also food, expanded menu, expanded beverages. It's got high ceilings and you can hang out and sit down and really have lunch there. It's not just like the average Starbucks where you pop in and out and get like something to eat and just a little drink. Welcome to the High Line. What is so cool about this above ground park that they created on top of old railways is that it has all of this distance of walking, but you also were able to see cool plants. There is a pop-up restaurants and pop-up stores. There's views. You really get to experience Chelsea from 14th Street all the way up to 34th Street where Hudson Yards is. So you should definitely come check it out. Walk along all the way, all the way up to 34th Street and let me know what you think. Chelsea is where the art scene is today. You've got everything from the Dia Chelsea to the David Warner Gallery and so many other countless art galleries that have modern contemporary art pieces that you can't find anywhere else. The other thing that's awesome about Chelsea is that it's close to so many different neighborhoods because of its size. You have Hudson Yards, Nomad, Flatiron, West Village, and if you preen your neck a little bit, you're literally in the Hudson River. The other best thing about Chelsea is that you are right on the water and there are so many facilities located just even within Chelsea Piers. You've got City Winery, which has a restaurant, also has a massive event space. You've got a bowling alley, you've got track and field, you have a driving range, you've got an ice skating rink. Literally anything your heart could possibly desire is located just behind me. Chelsea also has miles of public parks, Little Island, which is a recently completed public park, which is located sitting right on top of the river. If you are a lover of all things and sports and outdoors, and you don't want to be all the way uptown at Central Park, this is the neighborhood for you. Thank you so much for joining me on my neighborhood tour of Chelsea. My favorite part of Chelsea, really, that I get the most use out of is Chelsea Piers. I've had multiple birthday parties there for my kids. I've been to multiple birthday parties for kids and, and charities that were held at the city winery. It's just such an amazing place that has so much to offer. And when you walk out the door, you have beautiful parks like this, the waterfront, and you can see the boats going by. So if you haven't been to Chelsea ever, you definitely need to check it out. And if you love Chelsea, just comment below, like, subscribe, share. I'd love to hear from you as to what resonated with you about this neighborhood guide and what other neighborhoods you'd like me to tour in the future. Thanks so much for following me.